everybody, welcome to Cosmic Bunny. Today I wanna make an offering for my altar, for my ancestors, for my guides. So I've always been a little bit confused about offerings. Like normally I just offer like a glass of water to my ancestors at my altar, but I've noticed people sometimes will put different items and I just get really confused because of um, the fact that eventually you do have to throw that food away and I know you're not supposed to throw anything away in that aspect like usually you'll bury it or you'll use the water to like water your plants or stuff like that so with actual food and stuff i always get confused how people do it i recently saw a video of someone who put an offering on his table which i thought was really generous he had like a plate of like chicken wings at his offering table but i'm just wondering like what do you do with those chicken wings like eventually i feel like it's gonna get old or it's gonna be um like attracting bugs maybe i don't have bugs in my house but we do have centipedes that live in the backyard and they make their way up so I just don't like the idea of having open food so I figured I would compromise until I learn a little bit more and put it in this little jar thing I got this during a spell kit that I ordered from Spellerific which I did do a review on their money candle and a couple of their other products so I've already cleansed all these items I used my Palo Santo which gives me really bad headaches I'm not gonna lie I think incense in general even when I have good ventilation gives me headaches basically we're gonna do a little bit of maple syrup I was gonna do straight up honey, but I am out and I think maple syrup just tastes better I'm more of a maple syrup type of girl So we're gonna seal it and I'm probably gonna put some melted wax on it eventually once I get to my altar I can't film at my altar because of the fact that it's very dark in there And I have three studio lights here in the living room, which is where I'm currently filming So yeah, I figured we can just pour some honey. So I figured I would carefully pour some honey actually can you already see where this is going to go wrong? Let me put a plate underneath this because I'm clumsy as heck. There we go. Um, so I'm just going to pour some. Oh my God. <laughs> I definitely, I definitely missed there if you didn't catch that. <laughs> that poured out so much more than I thought. All right. Well, we'll rinse it. We'll clean this up real nice. Um, and then we'll just seal it. I'll put some wax on it later. Um, but yeah, we're going to do a little offering. I saw someone else do this a couple of months ago on Instagram. So I figured I'd give it a shot. I think the message is still clear. Something sweet for my ancestors in a way that isn't attracting bugs and stuff. Let me know how you deal with that. Do you even put offerings at your altar? I would really love to know. <laughs> But yes, I'm gonna rinse this out, I'll be right back. Okay, so it's now beautiful and clean, I love it. And I'm gonna go put it at my altar. I'm gonna light up some candles, have the wax kind of seal it a little bit, and then it'll officially be at the altar as an offering. So next week I'm gonna be doing a spell jar, a money spell jar to be exact. I'm just getting some ingredients ready. I'm kind of trying to work with what I have before going out and buying stuff because I am unemployed. I did a whole video about that, which is why I want a money spell jar. And I will keep you guys posted on that. Um, you can definitely check out Cosmic Bunny for more behind the scenes looks of me filming my videos. And yeah, I will see you next Wednesday. Take care. Be safe out there.